welcome back to another video um in this video we're going to be solving some past questions under the topic sort and at the end of this tutorial you should expect to have learned how to simplify sort basic simplification of sort and even how to rationalize sorts okay so without any further ado let's get into the first question which we have right here and it says find the area of a rectangle of length four centimeter whose diagonal is eight centimeter leave your answer in sort form so let's start by drawing out this rectangle okay so i have my rectangle here okay and i have the information that my length is four centimeter so here is four centimeter and my diagonal doesn't give me my breadth but gives me my diagonal as eight centimeter and it's asking me to find the area we know that the area of a rectangle is length times breadth is it not but i'm not giving my breadth so i have to find my breadth and this is simple we can find our breadth using the pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem says that hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus adjacent square right in a right angle triangle and this is a right angle triangle here so um this is our hypotenuse this is our opposite or adjacent this is also our adjacent or opposite depending on where your angle is okay so let's apply that rule now to solve this to solve for our breadth so eight centimeter which is hypotenuse square is equal to four square plus i'm going to call this one breadth since it's b we're looking for b square okay so um if i subtract four square from both sides i should have that b square is equal to eight square minus four square this is 64 minus 16 which will give me 48 so if b square is equal to 48 to find my b i should take the square root of both sides right so b is equal to 48 a square root of 48 rather square root of 48 is the same thing as the square root of 16 times 3 the square root of 16 is 4 that means that b is the same as 4 root 3 okay we cannot break this one down so we leave it as a sword 4 root 3 now i can now find my value of area length times breadth right so we have that area is equal to length times breadth my length is four centimeter and my breadth i've now found is four root three that means that my answer four times four is what 16 root three centimeter square um and that leaves me as d as my final answer all right guys this is question number two on that sort the question says simplify three root five multiplied by four root six divided by three root three multiplied by three um, 2 root 3 multiplied by 3 root 2. So this might look complicated, but the natural fact is very simple. Let's start by writing this out. 3 root 5 multiplied by... No, so let, let's break this down further, okay? This is what they're actually saying. They're saying 3 multiplied by root 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by root 6 all over 2 multiplied by root 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by root 2. Now, when you're solving, um, when you're dividing values, you can easily cancel out things that are common, right? What is up and what is down? Now, 3 can cancel 3 from what I see here. And we have 2 and 4 here. So, 2 year 1, 2 year 2. What am I left with? Root 5 multiplied by 2 root 6. 2 root 6. And in my denominator, I have root 3 and I have root 2. So now let's try to simplify this one further. Here, my numerator can remain the same. So I have root 5 multiplied by 2 root 6 divided by. Now, when there's root sign above a value on the two values, you can multiply what is inside and keep your root sign. So it means that this is the same as root 6. Root 6 can cancel root 6 here. I'm left with 2 multiplied by root 5, which is the same as 2 root 5. That means my answer is option D, 2 root 5. Then question number three now, and it says that if root 24 plus root 96 minus root 600 is equal to y root 6, find the value of y. Now, I want to start by putting all these, um, simplifying all these sorts, these values rather, such that I have root 6 as, um, or I have 6 as what is under the square root sign. Okay, so let's start. I know that 24 is the same as 4 times 6, is it not? So this would become root 4 times 6. Plus, this would become root 16 multiplied by 6 minus the square root of 100 multiplied by 6. Now, these three values here are perfect squares, is it not? So this one can be rewritten as 2 root 6 because the square root of 4 is 2 plus 4 root 6 because the square root of 16 is 4 minus 10 root 6 because the square root of 100 is 10. 
Now that row 6 is common to the three of them, I can carry, carry out this basic operation of plus and minus on the values that are outside. So what I'm having here basically is 2 plus 4 minus 6. All of this multiplied by root 6. So 2 plus 4 minus 10, everything root 6. 2 plus 4 is 6 minus 10 root 6, which is, sorry, there should be a bracket here, which is now 6 plus 4 is what? Minus 4 root 6. Now let's compare this to y root 6, which is said all this value is equal to, okay? So this means that y is minus 4, okay? If I divide both sides by root 6, I have that y is minus 4, and that means that my answer is d. All right, guys, so question number four, it says simplify 5 root 18 minus 3 root 72 plus root 50. So um, let's break this down. I know that 18 is, um, should I use 9 times 2, 6 times 3, yeah, 9 times 2 would work. So this becomes 5 multiplied by 9 times 2, right, minus 3 multiplied by 36 times 2 plus 4 multiplied by 25 times 2. Now, if you notice, 25, 36, and 9 are perfect squares, right? So that means this is the same thing as 5, sorry, 5 multiplied by 3 root 2 minus 3 multiplied by 6 root 2, sorry, plus 4 multiplied by 5 root 2. This is the same as 15 root 2 minus 18 root 2 plus 20 root 2. Now that they are all having root 2 beside them, we can just carry out this operation on those numbers beside the root 2. So we are having here 15 minus 18 plus 20. All of this root 2. 15 minus 18, that should give us minus 3 plus 20 multiplied by root 2. This is 17 multiplied by root 2, which is the same as 17 root 2. Okay. Yeah, our answer C. Okay, so our last question for this tutorial, question five says that if one plus root two all over one minus root two is expressed in the form x plus y root two, find the values of x and y. Now, what they're asking us to do in this question is to rationalize the sword, okay? And to rationalize a sword, you're going to first of all, a sword that can be rationalized is a sword that has its denominator having the square root sign, okay? So normally, we're not supposed to leave it like that. Whenever the denominator has the square root sign, we're supposed to rationalize. And to rationalize, the idea of rationalizing is to eliminate that square root sign <coughs> on the denominator, okay? So it's okay if the numerator has, but the denominator shouldn't have. So how do you eliminate this um, root sign? What you do, you simply multiply both the numerator and the denominator by um, a value that looks like this um, denominator, but not exactly this denominator. So this is what we're going to do. So we have 1 plus root 2 all over 1 minus root 2, right? Now I'm going to multiply both my numerator and denominator by 1 plus root 2 over 1 plus root 2. Now how do I come up with this? I only pick this value and I change the negative side to positive. Okay? So now let's, let's solve this. This is the same as 1 plus root 2 multiplied by 1 plus root 2 all over 1 plus root 2 multiplied by 1 minus root 2. So now let's break this out. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times root 2 is plus root 2. Root 2 times 1 is plus root 2. And root 2 times root 2 is 2. All over 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times minus root 2 is minus root 2. Root 2 times 1 is plus root 2. And root 2 times minus root 2 is minus 2. Okay? Now this one cancels. <coughs> this one cancels out because minus root two plus root two is same as nothing. So we are left with one minus two for our denominator. But for our numerator, let's break this. Let's break this down. One plus two is the same as two, right? And then root two plus two is the same as two root two. Our denominator is just one minus two, which is minus one. So this is the same as two plus root two over minus one. Sorry, two root two over minus one. Now, what they're asking us to do here is to divide both values by minus 1. So, basically, this is it. We have 2 over minus 1 plus 2 root 2 over minus 1. This is the same thing as minus 2 minus 2 root 2. Okay? So, if we compare this to x plus y root 2, this means that our x is minus 2 and our y is also minus 2. 
um, that means that we should have an answer of minus 2 comma minus 2. Well, I can't see anything like that here. So either our question is wrong or there is no answer for this. So just give me a minute. Let me check. Okay, so, um, <laughs> sorry, I was, made, I was the one that made an error here. So see where my mistake is, okay? I'm leaving this part in this video because I want you to understand that people make mistakes many times. And whenever you make a mistake, please always go back and frustrate. So I did 1 plus 2 here to give me 2. That's wrong. This should have given me 3, okay? So now, moving forward to be 3, 3. So 3 divided by minus 1 give me minus 3. And then my x should have been minus 3. So I have minus 3 comma minus 2, which means that A is my answer. So that's all for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.